Good morning. Good morning. It's Sunday School. This is Sherman Cash, and I'm Lisa Cash, and we are representing Mount Sinai Baptist Church in Rockingham, yes. North Carolina. Our pastor is the Reverend D.R. Bennett, and our co-pastor is Pat yes. Bennett. We are located at 171 Grand Bridge Road. In Rockingham, North Carolina, church starts at 10 a.m. We are on the inside using all the safety precautions yes. that we mm -hmm. understand. You are welcome to join us at any time. Yes, please. This morning, our Sunday school is called Jesus, the Prince of Life. Mm -hmm. And we're coming from Acts chapter 3, verses 11 through 21. We're going to jump right into it, but before we do, Sherman Cash, will you open us with a word of prayer? All right, too. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning thanking you for another day. We thank you, Father, for all you've done for us, doing, and will do. And we thank you, Lord God, for seeing us through to another day. Father, we love you. We ask you to open our hearts as we go through this lesson to gain better knowledge of you. We know that you have all powers in your hand because you are God. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So we're, we've been studying in Acts for Sunday School, and Acts, we know that the Acts of the Apostles mm -hmm. are, are, is giving us the recording written by Luke, the apostle who was a physician, mm -hmm. who is trying to give us the, the best recording of the history of the new church. The right. new church, meaning the church after Jesus has died and risen again. Mm -hmm. And, and how the first ones that were called Christians okay, yes. conducted themselves. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll get something from this. Yes. Um, I'm reading from the New King, King James, New King James Version, and I'm starting at verse 11, going through verse 21. Now, as the lame man who was heal, healed held on to Peter and John, all the people ran together to them in the porch, which is called Solomon's greatly amazed. So when Peter saw it, he responded to the people, men of Israel, why do you marvel at this? Or why look at us so intently as though by our own power or godliness, we had made this man walk. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers glorified his servant, Jesus, whom you delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. But you denied the Holy One and the just and asked for a murderer to be granted to you and killed the Prince of Life, whom God raised from the dead, of which we are witnesses. And his name, through faith in his name, has made this man strong, whom you see and know. Yes, the faith which comes through him has given him this perfect soundness of presence of you all. Yet now, brethren, I know that you did it in ignorance as did also your rulers. But those things which God foretold by the mouth of all his prophets that, Christ, that the Christ would suffer, he has thus fulfilled. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send Jesus Christ, who was preached to you before, from whom heaven must receive until the times of restoration of all things, which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. Amen. Amen. God's word for God's people. So. The purpose of today's lesson is to remind today's church that the early church experienced healings and miracles that helped to strengthen the church. And our application, how we apply this to our lives today, our Christian walk is strengthened by faith in the healing power of Jesus Christ. All right, so before we get into the questions and the points from this scripture, I'm going to give an overview so we can have a picture of what's going on um, in, in this scripture. Chapter 3 of Acts starts with Peter and John going into the synagogue to pray. They were Jewish, and they were doing what the Jewish people usually did, mm -hmm. going into the synagogue to pray at certain times. This was the custom 
that they followed before Jesus came and, and they're still following that. Now, Peter and John were different from before because now they had had the experience of walking with Jesus, right. working with Jesus, mm -hmm. and they had been empowered by the yes. Holy Spirit. So even though they were doing a familiar thing by going to the temple, they had a very different perspective. Mm -hmm. So it was common for disabled people to beg for alms at the gates of the temple uh, because they could not work. Right. That's what they did. And Peter and John were not surprised to see the lame man there and the lame man wasn't surprised to see them coming into the temple. But something very different happened at this particular yeah. exchange. Now, we can surmise that begging then was pretty much the same or not much different than begging is now. Meaning that the one who is uh, who begging, the one who is asking for you to give them some money uh -huh. or some change, expect some people to just ignore them right. and just right. pass them mm -hmm. by. And some people might give them a dirty look and then other people will give them something, That's you true. know, some a little, some are not, some, some not much at all. And, and the one who is passing by has to make the decision to give or not. Right. You, you all know that feeling that you have mm -hmm. when you see them sitting there or standing there with their sign and you have to make a decision then is right. it my day to give or is this not going to happen it looks suspicious mm -hmm. so so the this day god changed that dynamic and you could even say he flipped the script yeah, a whole different did. kind of exchange was about to happen instead of peter and john ignoring the man or simply telling the man that they had no nothing to give God, through his Holy Spirit, relieved the man of his disability. The man who was never able to walk. It says he was lame from his mother's womb. He was never able to walk, but now he could not only walk, he could leap. leap. He walked, leaped, and praised yes, the Lord going into uh -huh. the temple. Just picture it. Just picture it. This man who, was, who had never walked. Mm -hmm is not holding on and falling down like a toddler. Mm -hmm. Most of us, when we started walking, we look like drunken sailors, yes, right? Yes. But that's not how they describe <laughs> this man. By the power of the Holy Spirit, through the faith in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. in the power of God, this man was able to walk. The people may not have even noticed him if he had just walked into the temple. Mm -hmm. But that leaping yes. and all oh, that praising <laughs> got the attention so that the people had to look at him. And then oh, yeah. they recognized mm -hmm. that's the guy yeah. who is usually sitting down or laying down that's at the right. gates asking us for donations. But but this man is walking now. Mm -hmm. Now you So now they're looking so astonished. Yes. And they're looking at Peter and John like, what in the world did you all have to do with that? And then Peter noticed how they were looking mm -hmm. at them. And he immediately let them know that they had not done anything yes. through yes. their own power. Mm -hmm. he, re, he, he gave Jesus all the credit. That's he right. says the power yeah. in the name of Jesus. And let me remind you who this Jesus was. He reminded them that Jesus was the one that they had crucified mm -hmm. when they had the choice. Who are we going to free, Barabbas or Jesus? Uh -huh. You all chose to free the murderer, right? right? Mm -hmm. He reminded them that all of the prophets, all of the prophets had prophesied that the Messiah was going to suffer just the way Jesus was. And so all the prophecy was fulfilled yes. in Jesus Christ. So he was letting the Jewish people know he is the Messiah that we have been waiting for. But he didn't just make them feel guilty. Mm -hmm. No, he gave them the, the he, he took the opportunity to encourage them. Right. And he told the Jewish people, and why do I keep saying the Jewish people? Because it was the synagogue, the temple where that they were going to. We know that Peter and the apostles spread the gospel uh -huh. to Gentiles, but you also had to spread the gospel to the Jewish people. And so these were the people who were at the synagogue mm -hmm. in the temple, the Jewish people. So he is telling them, encouraging them, even though the Jewish people 
can take credit for doing what happened to Jesus. It was all in prophecy. Mm -hmm. God all planned all of this and it's been fulfilled. So be encouraged. Just repent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Repent of your sins. Turn to Jesus. And not only will you be cleansed of sins yes. or the scriptures yes. say, will your sins be blotted out, but you will also have the opportunity to be in the actual presence yes. of God and uh -huh. feel that refreshing oh, yes. or strengthening mm -hmm. that comes from being in the presence of the Amen. Lord. This was what a day, yes. what a day, what yes. a God opportunity mm -hmm. Peter and John had. So now uh, let's, let's do those questions. Okay. Uh, question number one, who benefited from the power of Jesus? In, in this story, mm -hmm. the beggar, the okay. one that was not able to walk, mm -hmm. benefited from Jesus' power, from the name of Jesus being used. Mm -hmm. And and that power, when when Peter Peter said, look at us, look at me and John, silver <laughs> and gold, we have none. none. But by the power um, in the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus of Nazareth, you get up and walk. And they both reached out for the man uh -huh. and the man's legs, they said, unfolded uh -huh. as he stood up. No rehab. No rehabilitate. Yeah. Right. No rehab, nothing. He mm -hmm. just, and he, as soon as he realized uh -huh. he could, he was standing up. <laughs> what does it say? He walked, leaped, Leap. and prayed. Yes. All right. Great, great, great. Who did uh, Peter emphasize to the crowd? Peter emphasized the Messiah, Amen. the risen Christ. He did not emphasize mm -hmm. himself or John. He did not remind the crowd where they came from. Uh -huh. He didn't say, you remember me, You're right. the fisherman, the mm -hmm. best fisherman of all yeah. time. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. He didn't. He said, don't look at oh. us. Don't look at us. Look at Jesus Christ. This is where that came from. Amen. Amen. How can we give God the glory? All right. Now, so so in this story, the man who could now walk mm -hmm. gave God the glory by breaking tradition. You all know how many of us come into church leaping and praising. Now, some you know, when the music starts, when the preacher says, you know, what whatever that hits your very soul and and in some of our churches it's a tradition mm -hmm. to express how we feel mm -hmm. by jumping running leaping dancing yet yeah. but how many of us come into the church mm -hmm. leaping and praising god so that man praised god with his body with yes. what he couldn't do he now had. he can do now peter and john how did they give God the glory? By simply saying, not taking any credit. Mm -hmm. Not me. What you see, yes, it was miraculous, mm -hmm. and yes, it all came from the power of God. Yes, yes. Th that's how. Yes. yes, indeed. So now we have some points, and then we're going to close <clears throat> this up. We got a couple of points from uh, the 16th verse. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like you to read those for okay. us. Okay. Um, Acts 13 and 16. No, Acts 3, 3 16. Oh, 3, 16. Yeah, you're not reading the scripture. Read the point. Okay, uh, the point. Uh, faith in the name of Jesus and the power of God was the source of healing. Amen. Amen. Uh, point number two. Jesus is the source of the, of, faith, of the faith that is needed. Jesus is the source okay. of the faith, faith that's is. needed. Now, that's saying something. Mm -hmm. Because... A lot of times in our lives, we don't know if we have enough faith to trust God for whatever we're praying for. Mm. You know, right now, we might wonder, do we have enough faith mm. that God will heal the land? Do we have enough faith? But in this scripture, if you go back to verse 16, it says, uh, Peter says, yes, the faith which comes through him, and he's talking about Jesus Christ, has given him, this man that was once lame, this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. So that is telling us that Jesus gives us the faith that we need. Okay, yeah. You see, that's, that, 
gives me some relief. Yes. That doesn't, you know, so some of us can stress and worry. Do I have enough faith? I'm having doubt. Feels like I have more doubt than I have faith. But what do we do? We trust in Jesus. We trust in the name of Jesus. And as we do that, He gives us the faith we need to receive the healing that he has to offer. Beautiful. All right. What's our last point? The last point. Once we have repented, we are able to experience the refreshing or strengthening that comes in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I like this scripture, the way um, the the new King James and even King James says, um, Peter, Peter tells us, you have times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord and times of refreshing. Refreshing. When you think about refreshing, we think about being very thirsty Mm -hmm. after, you know, a long hot walk or working in the yard and you feel a nice cool drink would refresh you. And, and that that's, that's a beautiful way to think about it. And when you think of this man whose bones were withered and his muscles were weak Mm -hmm. And, and he describes it as a, a refreshing, a time of refreshing, but it was actually a time of strengthening and renewing. Yes. And so to be able to be in the presence of the Lord and then have the opportunity to yes. experience that is a benefit. Yes. Of accepting yes. Jesus as your Savior. Yes. Isn't our God good? Yes. So good. Isn't our so God good. good? You know, so... It tells me every time I'm able to enter the house of prayer, I just come in leaping and praising God because I I have the strength to walk in. Okay, I'm going to look for that. Okay. I'm going to look for that. Let's seal it with a word of prayer. All right. All right. Father, we come to you this morning thanking and praising you, Lord. Thanking you for Jesus Christ. Thanking you for the power that comes with the name. The power that comes with the faith. Thanking you, God, for being as good as you are. In the matchless name of Jesus, amen. amen.